and a move to proprietary software, uh, and proceeded with his decision, the decision to, to make Windows XP available on the XO. As a result, it is expected that the main effect of the old PC project, if it succeeds, will be to turn millions of children into Microsoft dependents. That is a negative effect to the point where the world would be better off if the old PC project had never existed. Personally, when I read this, I just got very, very furious. I think it's just very presumptuous of, of well-off people sitting you know, in Boston, not a place around the world, to, to be able to presume that you know, just their way of, of doing things is the best way for everyone. And to say, you know, we shouldn't connect millions of, of children around the world because they might use proprietary software. Uh, it's just totally presumptuous and arrogant, in my, in, in my opinion. Um, what's interesting is here that, again, there was a big backslash in the media, but for once, actually, a lot of people within the FSF realized that, that this, this text doesn't really make sense and doesn't really generally represent the, the, the good work and good spirit that's going on in the FSF, and they actually later changed it. But then again, if, if, if I were Microsoft at this point, I would just I would be sitting in office and laughing all day. Because, you know, I don't even have to draft up a press release to confuse the people and confuse the markets and, and get people turned off uh, a floss project because people do it themselves. So again, you know, don't, don't just question the, the, the thought coming from one side, but also what's happening on the other side. Uh, and now we can point that what was raised here before about uh, future uh, XO hardware designs. Um, this machine here is an early, early prototype of the XO 1.5 that should start mass production within the next couple of weeks. Um, the interesting thing here is it doesn't come with Microsoft on it, but rather, again, an, a Linux operating system, Fedora, with a regular Sugar desktop, and you can also easily switch to a regular GNOME desktop, which is quite interesting and works quite well. And it's uh, upgraded hardware and quite a bit faster and uh, should be available at the same price point. However, if you, if you happen to check the, the online media um, you know, over the Christmas time, it was kind of hard not to, to see this image. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> um, the so-called XO3 for, for 2012 was announced. Announced, I mean, we don't have much more than CGI renders at this point. And I mean, if you, I don't know if you guys know the game Bullshit Bingo. But if, if one were to play bullshit bingo with a, uh, with a press release, I think just the first couple of lines of all PCs press release would be pretty awesome. Breakthrough advances, revolutionary, unprecedented high performance, lower and lower, I'm surprised you didn't say lower and lower and lower cost, and so on and so forth. Uh, yeah, innovation, of course, that's also an important aspect. Yeah? Um, Please take those kinds of information with a grain of salt, because first of all, predicting anything that's going to happen in 2012 is, is ridiculous to begin with. Um, but I actually had, had fun with the whole thing. And so now this is, I mean, this is getting stuff an activity, because an activity exists everywhere. So instead of calling something well, Microsoft, blah, Word, Open Office, and so on and so forth, the, the activity to, to write text is called write. Um, the activity to, to, to browse the internet is called browse. Uh, the activity to, to take pictures and, and make video and, and audio recordings is called record. Just one of those details that really shows that the people have gone a long way in trying to make it a lot easier for, for, other, uh, for people who, who live in a very different uh, cultural context to actually understand what's happening here and, and basically make it easy for them to, to use digital tools. What's also important is that, that instead of, of having uh, uh, Nautilus or, or an explorer or whatever to, to access your, your data that's stored in the machine, you've got something called the journal. Again, the concept of a journal or diary is something that's much more widespread than you know, files and folders or whatever. And also, if you think about where files and folders come from historically, that's of course because of office automation. Because initially, a lot of computers were just used for office automation. Yeah? And what it really the, the, the concept of a file and folder that's coming out in office from the 60s in some lawyer's office in the US is really the best way to, to teach a six-year-old in, in Ghana about how to store and, and retrieve digital objects. It's, it's an interesting question. And also, if it, this is, what, what, what's interesting about this, uh, this aspect here is that, for example, now uh, the GNOME desktop is also thinking about integrating some of those, those journal aspects. Just uh, a, a different way of, of Again, storing and retrieving digital objects. 
Adam briefly mentioned uh, creativity and exploration before, so that's a very simple program for making music. Uh, I'm personally not very good at that, and whenever I try to create something, uh, it sounds pretty horrible. But I've seen a lot of young kids around the world actually coming up with, with pretty neat music. And especially because you can combine it with, you know, things that you can record in your environment. You could, you know, record an instrument somewhere and then actually sample it and, and make, make nice music out of it. I had also mentioned collaboration. So this is another important view within Sugar. It's the so-called neighborhood view. And it basically shows you all the other people uh, in your environment that actually also use an EXO. So the colleague sitting there uh, with his battery running low, um, if I turned on my laptop, I would actually see him. And if, if he were interested in, in sharing his notes, so that he, he could share those notes, and I could immediately start typing them, correcting something, asking questions, or whatever. So again, basically, once you're within an environment, and that also happened yesterday when the Wi-Fi was working, is I turned on the machine, and there were like three other XOs in the environment. I didn't know who these people were, where I tried to invite them to, to a chat session and talk to them. Um, they didn't react, I don't know. Um, but it's actually good to, to see which other people can actually using this, the same system and you, who you can collaborate or, or play whatever with. I'd also briefly mentioned um, Sugar on a Stick. So all of the software I'm showing here is not tied to, to this machine anymore. You can actually just go to www.sugarlabs.org and you can download a, a USB stick version of the operating system and just start it within a virtual box on your regular machine, on your laptop, on a thin client system, whatever. Now what's important again, and, and I hate to go back to that, to, to Microsoft, is that uh, sometimes Microsoft itself actually doesn't need to do the dirty work of confusing people, because sometimes entities like the Free Software Foundation step in and actually do the work for them. I assume quite, an, uh, quite a few of you have, have seen the, the so-called Windows 7 Sins campaign, which the FSF started in, in some of this year. And under education, they actually listed all PC as, uh, well, probably a despisable project. And uh, I'm, I'm quoting the original uh, FSF text here. Negroponte, desiring the financial support of Bill Gates and Microsoft, ignored them, them being people like Walter Bender and even Chris Chich, who, who warned about a move to proprietary software, uh, and proceeded with his decision, the decision to, to make Windows XP available on the XO. As a result, it is expected that the main effect of the old PC project, if it succeeds, will be to turn millions of children into Microsoft dependents. That is a negative effect to the point where the world would be better off if the old PC project had never existed. Personally, when I read this, I just got very, very furious. I think it's just very presumptuous of, of well-off people sitting you know, in Boston, not a place around the world, to, to be able to presume that you know, just their way of, of doing things is the best way for everyone. And to say, you know, we shouldn't connect millions of, of children around the world because they might use proprietary software, it's just totally presumptuous and arrogant, in my, in, in my opinion. Um, what's interesting is here that, again, there was a big backslash in the media, but for once, actually, a lot of people within the FSF realized that, that this, this text doesn't really make sense and doesn't really generally represent the, the, the good work and good spirit that's going on in the FSF, and they actually later changed it. But then again, if, if, if I were Microsoft at this point, I would just I would be sitting in office and laughing all day. Because, you know, I don't even have to draft up a press release to confuse the people and confuse the markets and, and get people turned off uh, a floss project because people do it themselves. So again, you know, don't, don't just question the, the, the thought coming from one side, but also what's happening on the other side. Uh, and now we can point that what was raised here before about uh, future uh, XO hardware designs. Um, this machine here is an early, early prototype of the XO 1.5 that should start mass production within the next couple of weeks. Um, the interesting thing here is it doesn't come with Microsoft on it, but rather, again, an, a Linux operating system, Fedora, with a regular Sugar desktop, and you can also easily switch to a regular GNOME desktop, which is quite interesting and works quite well. And it's uh, upgraded hardware and quite a bit faster and uh, should be available at the same price point. However, if you, if you happen to check the, the online media um, you know, over the Christmas time, it was kind of hard not to, to see this image. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> uh, 
Um, the so-called XO3 for, for 2012 was announced. Announced, I mean, we don't have much more than CGI renders at this point.